And what do we have here today? Ooh, beautiful figs. Some fennel powder, black pepper, some salt. We have sage, garlic. We have rosemary and we have thyme, all fresh. What are we making here today? I do not know. Let's see. Oh, mamma mia. Oh, fresh rosemary, so good, right from my backyard. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to La Cucina. I'm your host, Pasquale. Welcome to another edition of Even Dead Can Cook. So today we're making a delicacy, something that in Italia, mamma mia, everybody makes. You know, it's very, very well known in Italy anyway. La porchetta. La porchetta is made from the pork belly pork belly with a nice skin on it and it gets wrapped up it gets tied up it gets seasoned well put it in the oven for three and a half to four hours it depends how big it is usually in Italy they make the whole pork you go to the feast and you find them you see them like selling this the whole pork and they slice it up for you and you eat it put it in a sandwich it's delicious so what do we need today of course we need the pork belly, and we need tenderloin. I got it right here, beautiful tenderloin that I'm gonna put inside the pork belly. So, we need garlic, we need thyme, we have rosemary from the yard, we have sage, we have salt, a very important item. We have fennel powder. This was fennel seed, and my wife put it in the blender for me and made it into a powder, which is smells absolutely delicious and I'm gonna put that in there too and that's about it really it's not too much uh, on it a lot of people change it the way that is this is more traditional way olive oil of course so let's work with this so at the time we have to take all the stems of the times off so and then I'm gonna chop them up and once I chop them up, I'm gonna mix it with the garlic, fresh garlic and sage and thyme. This is rosemary, sorry. Oh my God, it's so good, it really is. So I hope everybody's doing well. I don't know if you have a chance to see my uh, pasta al forno, my big ZD video was unbelievable. My son Michael was here, everybody loved it. That's my mom, a traditional uh, recipe and my wife uh, she she learned it many couple of years ago and she loves it so and she said we have to make that so I'm gonna chop up the rosemary because you want to put it all over the place you want to put it all over the meat it needs to be coated inside so we prepare this first if I need more I will add more I got fresh I got some more fresh stuff this is sage Take the stem off So this traditional recipe comes from Lazio, like Rome area, and you cannot go to Italy without trying the porchetta. Porchetta in Italia, it's unbelievable. They love this stuff because, listen, you know about pork, you can eat anything about pork. Even the ears, the nose. Mix all this together. Now the time. This is all the spices that you need to make this wonderful, wonderful culinary dish. 
I tell you, I'm chopping this up and the smell is so delicious. This is unbelievable. Even my dog is underneath me trying to smell it. Not for you, little pup. Now, the garlic, we're gonna mash it. Mash it, try to, like, and then we'll chop it up. Lots of garlic, good garlic. Nice and fresh from the market this morning. This is how Julia Child used to do. I saw a couple of videos. to chop the uh, onions like that. Okay, now, because the garlic is a little wet, of course, we mix it with everything, and it's a little more on the dry side. So now, I'm gonna put a little bit of powder, fennel powder in it, and mix it all up. What I'll do is a little salt, mix it nice, just a little, make a little pepper in there. Then I'm gonna bring the camera down so you guys can see closer. We'll do a close up of this stuff. Okay, so now, get rid of this. Start coating the beautiful pork belly and we'll see how it works. Okay, so let's see. Bringing you here so you guys can see. Okay. So, we'll take the pork belly first. You can see Lakotica. Lakotica is the skin, beautiful skin. So what I'll do, I'm gonna scrape it a little bit. Look how beautiful this thing is. So now what we do is this. I go in, into the skin, and I'm going to separate just a little bit. A little bit separation of the skin. So later, when I make my little roll, I will first cover the meat and then put the skin on top of it and I will coat this too just a little I'll do the same thing on this side you guys can see the skin it's called in Italian it's called cotica so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prepare this I'm going to You see, flap here and a flap over here. So I'm gonna prepare it, I'm gonna tie it up nice, and then what we do is we'll put this in the fridge overnight. So all the seasoning, all the stuff, it will be beautiful, it will stay, that will be coating. So now we're putting just a little bit of olive oil all over the meat.
Same thing here. Olive oil. If you want, you can also do this. Like a little, little butterfly. This is all meat. So if you do this, you can put the olive oil right there a little bit. And then you can coat it in the salt. When you put salt in it, it will be penetrating more. Now, a generous amount of salt. Right there too. Right there. Flap this up. Questa vita come va, mangiamo, ogni tanto si facciamo un provolone. This is beautiful on the morning, in mattina, when you start cooking this way. Mix it up Italian and English, whatever, doesn't matter. Okay, so now, what are we doing? We are putting in, looking beautiful, herbs, a mix of garlic, these beautiful herbs everywhere, the sage, look at this, we press it down. salt on the tenderloin same thing put it here a little more sage in it on the tenderloin as well and we put a little bit of fennel powder and my wife she grind it for me. This is all beautiful spices, natural, that you need to do this. So now, we can fold this up and fold this up as well. Then we fold this in. And we'll fold this one in too as well. So now, once we do this, we have to cool it, squeeze it. And we have to tie it up and make a nice form of la porchetta. We have to tie it up. Okay. So, one here, that's how you do it. So, we fold it together beautifully. Press it underneath. And we have to really squeeze it out together. You know, this is a pretty, pretty, pretty nice piece. And the rest we just cut. So we finally made it, tied it up. And now this is the actually my first time making porchetta. And it, it took a little bit longer to tie it up, but listen, it looks good. All the seasoning are in place. Less not, that's it. Look how beautiful, beautiful porchetta, very nice. So now what we do is with a sharp knife, you have to give, you have to poke 
the cortica. The cortica is the, the skin. So why? Because when it starts cooking, all the juice, the fat will render, will come out, and will make the meat taste so good. And you want this to to become nice and crispy. So we're gonna we're gonna put it in the fridge for now. And I'm putting it in the fridge overnight. And then tomorrow morning, I'm gonna start cooking it. Okay, so our beautiful porchetta is ready to be baked, but I'm not baking it now. I'm putting it in the fridge. Let it sit overnight, and then tomorrow is gonna go into the oven at 450 for 30 minutes, and then I'm gonna reduce it to 325 for the remaining of the, uh, probably about, this, this is about four pounds. So four, maybe a little more than four pounds, four and a half pounds. So it will take about four, four and a half hours to cook. So half an hour, I heat, and then the rest of the four hours on, on you know, 325, which is medium heat. Um, you guys always check it when you cook it, when you make it, and uh, you will be able to determine anyway when it's done completely. And in the end, um, you're gonna see the skin is gonna get really crispy and bubble it up. And that's when it's really almost done. And that's how I like it. I like it like the skin, very crispy. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm putting just a little bit of salt in here because the salt will draw some of the water from the from the, the skin because I cut it up. So, and that's it. So now, guys, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to put it in the fridge and then I will see you tomorrow morning. Uh, tomorrow morning, late morning. And uh, we'll make this for a, a beautiful brunch. All right, I'll see you soon. Ciao a tutti, stay safe, and we'll see you in the morning. Ciao. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to La Cucina. I'm your host, Pasquale. And welcome back to La Porchetta. So let's do it. So yesterday we prepared the porchetta and I put it in the fridge to uh, just relax a little bit and take all that beautiful flavor from all the spices that I put in. So now I have a pan with the rack here. I put aluminum foil underneath so when it starts dripping you don't get you know your, your uh, pan really disgusting after it cooks because sometimes it burns a little. So you want to keep it nice and clean. So, um, fixing it up nice. Now what we do is we also add a little water into the pan, just simple water, not for nothing else. That's it, and our beautiful porchetta is right here, the start of the show. Mamma mia, look at this, beautiful, look at that, what a beauty, nice and stagionata, they say in Italian. Stagionata means uh, nice and seasoned. So now we put it in here, rinse my hands again, every time you feel the pork, Chicken, always wash your hands. You don't want to get any salmonella. Put this in here, I'm going to wash it. So, what I'll do now is I'm just going to coat it just a little with olive oil. That's all. And that's about it. So, guys, the oven is preheating on 450. Uh, after, I'm going to put it in the porchetta in the oven at 450 for 30 minutes. Uh, this is four and a half pounds. So it will take about five hours to cook. So, and uh, half an hour on high heat, 450, and then I'll reduce after the half an hour, reduce it to 325, and let it cook beautifully. Now don't forget, I gave cuts on the skin of the porchetta. It's called cotica in Italiano. And you will see the difference when it starts again, nice and crispy, beautiful. I'll see you soon. Ciao. 
Hello everybody and welcome to La Cucina. I'm your host Pasquale. This is my friend Carolyn over here hey. and my wife is on the camera and we are cutting up La Porchetta. La Porchetta took me two days to make. So let's see. First of all, Carolyn wants to give a shout out to the mom that she's Hi, watching mom. us today. And she and said, and Uncle Sal. And she's not getting any porchetta. So the porchetta was out. Look how gorgeous this is. This is like a work of art. Oh. So now when you finish the porchetta, what you do is you have to let it stay because you don't eat it right away. It's not good to eat it when it's too hot. So now the porchetta is done. It was it cooked for almost five hours. So let's let's play. Let's give the first cup. See this? See how nice the cortica is? Very crispy. And let me take my wine off. Just in case you guys don't see it. And this is the porchetta. And let's see how juicy this thing is. Oh la mama, look at this. Carolyn, come here, look at this stuff. Wow. What do you think? That's Look how juicy. beautiful that looks. It's a beautiful, <laughs> it beautiful. beautiful porchetta. What Watch do you this. eat it with, Crispy. What do you eat it with? So you eat it just like that. You're going to have a taste just now. Look how hot it is. This was done. It was finished almost half an hour ago. So this is porchetta type. No, it's uh, the porchetta they make in Rome. They call Lazio in Rome. And this is the tenderloin in the center. So, Carolyn, do the honor. Have a piece. So, what do you do is that piece, you, yes, you I take this piece. piece. Okay. <laughs> and let me let me let me know how good it is. How um, is it? Really good. <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. Guys, it's really good. <laughs> it's really so. good. Wow. Okay, I'm not a pork eater. Mm -mm. I'm eating string too. Wow. This is delicious. I this love is porchetta and it's made not it's um, Romana style but every time if you go Italy you find this everywhere and usually they make the whole pig. We made a small one just for you guys to see. I hope you like it and uh, don't forget to follow me subscribe to my channel, click like, and click the icon bell so you can get notified every time I put a video on it. Now, from our home to your home, venite a mangiare con noi. Cendanni. Cendanni. And I'll see you next time. Ciao a tutti. Ciao. Salud. Ah, beautiful. <laughs>